So, what is a variable? Think of a variable like storage, where we can store a value. Each variable has a specific type, its own name, and it contains data or a value. Let's take a quick example. Imagine a variable as a box. Just like you can put different things into a box, a variable is a special box in your code where you can store information. Each box or variable has a name, like a label on the box. Inside the box, you can put different things or values depending on what type of box it is. For example, if the box is meant to store a ball, we can put a ball inside it. And guess what? You can change what's inside the box whenever you want. In the guess a number game, you can think of the player's guess as a box. We can declare a variable like this, int guess equals 50. This means that guess is like a box, and inside this box, we have an integer with the value 50. Now, if we change guess to 75, then 50 is replaced by 75 in the box. So the box contains a new value. Have a look on rules for declaring variables. A variable name should start with a letter and should be descriptive. Don't use spaces. If you need multiple words, use camel case or underscores. Avoid special characters, except for underscores. Variable names are case sensitive. Guess and guess are different. In our code, we have this, int guess equals 50. Here, int is the data type, guess is the variable name, and 50 is the value inside that variable. Now, let's jump back to Visual Studio and declare variables for our game. We'll declare three variables, min, max, and guess. We'll also improve our log statements like this. I hope you have some knowledge of basic programming and know what newline or tab does. If not, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Now here's something new, log formatting. This function is used when you want to include placeholders inside a string to display a value in that placeholder. For example, there are two placeholders, 0 and 1, enclosed by curly brackets. After the string, we provide the values for those placeholders. We can't do this with debug log, so Unity provides debug.log format. Let's also add some information to show the player, like this. Now, hover back to Unity and hit play. Excellent. We get a nice output in our console with a welcome message, our highest and lowest number, a message for the player to enter their guess and hit enter, and we're also displaying the guess. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this helpful. Happy coding!